Hi guys! Welcome back to Kim's class. Today's lesson is the second lesson in a unit about personal information. More specifically, we're going to be learning more about personality traits and likes and dislikes. Well, let's go ahead and look at the objectives for today's lesson. The first objective says, I understand gerunds, what part of speech they follow, and why they are used. Do you know what a gerund is? It's okay if you don't, because that's what we're going to learn today. The next objective says, I can use 13 common gerunds to write about personal interests. And then the last objective says, I can ask and answer questions using gerunds and verbs. Sound confusing? That's okay. That's why we're here to learn. So let's look at our grammar focus for today's lesson. So like I said, our grammar focus is verbs and gerunds, questions and statements. I think it's important first to call your attention to what a gerund is. So a gerund is the base form of a verb plus I-N-G. A gerund is different than the verb in the present continuous. So don't confuse a gerund with the verb form and an ing. We'll get some practice with that and you'll understand. The difference is that gerunds often follow verbs that talk about things that people like to do. We use gerunds more like nouns than we do verbs. If you look next to that explanation, you'll see that these are the verbs that are often before gerunds. We use the word avoid swimming, can't help thinking, dislike working, enjoy playing. So do you see how these words, avoid, can't help, finish, hate, or like, come before a gerund? Let's go ahead and look at how all this fits together in this structure. So we have the question, do I enjoy dancing? Do you enjoy dancing? Do we enjoy dancing? Does he enjoy dancing? Does she enjoy dancing? And does it enjoy dancing? Now another thing to remind you of is the word do and does. We use the word do before the pronouns I, you, we, and they. But we use the word does before the pronouns he, she, and it. So now let's look at the statements. We have, I enjoy dancing, or I don't enjoy dancing. You enjoy dancing. You don't enjoy dancing. We enjoy dancing. We don't enjoy dancing. They enjoy dancing. They don't enjoy dancing. Let's look how the word changes when we use the pronouns he, she, and it. You'll notice that we add an S onto the word enjoy. So now we have he enjoys dancing. 
He doesn't enjoy dancing. She enjoys dancing. She doesn't enjoy dancing. It enjoys dancing. It doesn't enjoy dancing. Remember the word don't and doesn't is a contraction. Don't is the same as do not and doesn't is the same as does not. So now that you've had a little explanation of the grammar chart, which I hope you wrote down, let's try to practice using that information in sentences. So on your screen, you see eight sentences. You also see eight words in the box above, but those words are not in the form of a gerund. So when you put it in the sentence, you need to change the word to a gerund. So be would be being, swim would be swimming. So go ahead, do the activity, pause the video, and when you finish the activity, you can turn the video on and I will give you the correct answers. Go ahead and pause your video now. All right, class, let's look at the answers and see how we did. Number one, does Vlad like being alone? Number two, do you like shopping on Amazon? Number three, my sister enjoys playing tennis. Number four, Mr. Contreras doesn't like getting up early. Number five, I love listening to music when I take walks. Number six, do you mind going to the movies by yourself? Number seven, most people don't enjoy paying bills every month. And number eight, Dolores dislikes doing English homework. So now that you've practiced putting single words into sentences, I want you to try writing the sentences all by yourself. So on the screen, you see eight questions. You see also words that I want you to put in the sentence. So you are going to make a complete sentence starting with the question. Now remember, the question will either start with the word do or it will start with the word does. Start your sentence with either do or does and write your sentence. Then you need to answer the questions. Now remember, you're going to have to change it from yes I do, no I don't, yes she does, no she doesn't. Make sure you use the correct form. Now what I'd like you to do is pause the video, complete the activity. When you're finished with the activity, hit play and I'll give you the answers. Go ahead and pause your video now. All right, class, let's see how we did with writing our sentences. Number one, does Vlad like swimming? Answer. Yes, he does. Number two, does Floor love dancing? Answer, no, she doesn't. Number three, does Ahmed mind cleaning? Answer, no, he doesn't. Number four, do Yolanda and Jude hate shopping? Answer, yes, they do. Number five, 
Do you dislike watching TV? Answer, no, I don't. Number six, do I love sleeping in? Answer, yes, I do. Number seven, does Tony enjoy listening to music? Answer, yes, he does. Number eight, do Patty and Pedro love paying bills? Answer, no, they don't. Great job writing eight good sentences in English. Practice makes perfect. Now that the lesson's finished, let's take a look at our objectives and see if we've learned everything I hope you would have learned. Can you understand gerunds? Do you know what part of speech they follow? Do you know why they're used? I bet you do. Can you use those 13 common gerunds to write about personal interests? We had some practice with that in the first activity. And the last objective says, can you ask and answer questions using gerunds and correct forms of verbs? We did that as well. So class, that's our lesson for today. But before you go, I'd like you to do four things for me. Is that okay? The first thing I would like you to do is to hit the like button below this video. The next thing I want you to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, every time I post a new video, you'll get a notification. Wouldn't you like that? The next thing I'd like you to do is to find someone to share this video. I'm sure you know people, friends, family, people you work with, that may find these lessons as interesting as you do. And the last thing I'd like you to do is write a comment in the comment section below. We've been talking about personal interests, likes, dislikes, and personality traits. Write me a sentence about you. Are you curious? Are you shy? Maybe you're outgoing and like to go out. Write a sentence about you. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for allowing me to come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you soon.